What's up, you guys? I hope you are in the mood for a party today. I hope you are ready to party hardy today. Because in this video, we're gonna be counting down the 10 best classic country songs that improve any party. I mean, I know there's not many parties for us to really be going to right now, and there's this like pent up party boy energy. <laughs> But I don't know, maybe there's gonna be some like backyard late summer barbecues. I'm just trying to see the double glizzy. Oh my God. Or just you and a few close friends sitting by the lake or hey, maybe you just need to kind of file these away for next year. Or maybe you just need to have a jam session alone in your apartment because sometimes it's a Saturday and you're just alone in your apartment making a YouTube video or something and need to let out some steam. But in any case, we're just gonna be looking at songs that are tried and true, proven country songs that get people smiling, moving, and grooving. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. A couple rules for this list. First off, like all my lists, there's just gonna be one song per artist. So even though there are a bunch of artists that have tons of great party songs, they only get one spot on this list. And then second, since we're doing classic country songs, I'm not gonna do anything from the last 20 years. It's gotta be from before 2000. So that way it can be a multi-generational jam. And maybe if this does well, we can do like modern country songs that hype the boys, which is totally a phrase I stole from my buddy Aiden. And this isn't really a rule, but just a statement. This is just my opinion, it's one dude. There's a million great party songs and you can have your opinion too, and I wanna know them in the comments down below. But for now, let's just get into today's list. At number 10, we got Boot Scoot and Boogie by Brooks and Dunn. Stuck out in the woods to do the boot scoot. The easiest way to please people with country music at a big party is typically to lean on the 90s country sound because it's jovial, it's hearty, it's a little bit rocking, it encourages dancing, and Boot Scoot and Boogie captures all of those things. Now this song was actually originally by Asleep at the Wheel, but it was really made famous by Brooks and Dunn who released it in 1991, and it became like a line dancing, Texas honky tonk classic. It's got a rocking, bassy little beat, a fun little yodel at the end of the chorus on Boogie. Boogie. And then that nice sort of lyrical break for you to shuffle in your boots back and forth. And if you're not into boot scoot and boogie, you could also throw like Brand New Man or Play Something Country On by Brooks and Dunn. They just have so many good ones. This song also holds a special place in my family's heart because I have a sister named Scotty that we all call Scooty. And we like to play this when she is around. She's a teacher and I just want to say as the school year starts, shout out to all you teachers out there that are trying to figure out how to make this year work. We all appreciate you. And number nine is I'm Alright by Jody Messina. I'm All Right is a song that I think is impossible to hear without immediately being in a better mood. It was actually written by Phil Vassar and released by Jody Messina in 1998. And the thing that I think makes this a great party song is it's literally about being happy to be with your friends. Well, it's been a long time, glad to see your face. I knew we'd meet again another time, another place. Regardless of everything going on in the rest of the world, the narrator in this song is saying like, yeah, I've got problems, there are things that aren't that great, but I've got a good old friend here with me tonight and I guess I'm doing all right. And then the song is upbeat and it gets you moving, but really there is one line in this song that makes it a perfect party song. And it's in the bridge when she says, I'm a my, 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 all right. No matter where you are, whether you're on a dance floor or whether you're hanging out on a dock with your friends, everyone has to stop and scream that line at the top of their lungs. And number eight is Watermelon Crawl by Tracy Bird. Well, if you think, don't drive, do the watermelon crawl. This song was released in 1994, and I love how ridiculous and random it is. Basically, the narrator of the song ends up in this small town in Georgia where they're having a watermelon festival, and everyone's drinking watermelon wine, and the mayor is like, please don't go drive right now, just stay here, be safe, and do the watermelon crawl, which I guess is some kind of dance. This has got that same kind of jangly piano, a little bit line dancey, just super fun vibes about it. Now, I'm not even sure if the watermelon crawl is a real dance, but you can definitely find a lot of tutorials of people showing how to do it as a line dance. And if Tracy Bird's team is listening to this at all, I would say you should lean into that, like make an official watermelon crawl dance, throw that on TikTok. The kids like dancing and let them make it relevant for another 30 years. And number seven is Nine to Five by Dolly Parton. Working nine to five. I think 9 to 5 is a fascinating song in the Dolly Parton catalog because it doesn't have the gravitas of something like I Will Always Love You or Coat of Many Colors or Jolene, but it's just sort of risen through the ranks over the years to be one of her most, if not her very most beloved hit. Like if you look on Spotify, it's her number one song. And that whole intro of the song with the clacking typewriter and the ascending piano line. 
has almost become a meme that communicates I'm excited. I'll see it used in little clips of YouTube videos or in TikToks all the time to communicate that. And so I'm putting this on the list because I think it is a really good reset button in a party. Like let's say the dance floor kind of died or let's say you and your friends are being sad boys and sad girls. All you gotta do is turn up the speakers a little bit, throw this song on, crack open some more White Claws and you guys are gonna be having a great time in no time. And props to Dolly for turning a song about the workplace into a party jam. And number six is Achy Breaky Heart by Billy Ray Cyrus. Don't tell my heart Achy Breaky Heart was this huge hit when it was released in 1992, and a lot of people credit it with the explosion of the line dance scene. But it was also divisive. I mean, people made fun of it. They made fun of Billy Ray Cyrus's tank tops and mullets, and they made fun of the lyrics because Achy Breaky is kind of inherently funny and stupid. But I actually think in the past 30 years, this song and the imaging around it has proven to be one of the most enduring and influential vibes in country music. And you look around at like high school and college kids now, and this is basically the aesthetic they're going for. I want my money back. This song was the best-selling song of 1992, and at the time, it was the best-selling song since 1983, when Islands in the Stream became a big crossover hit. And I don't know, if you're a parent and your kid is whining like, oh, why are you playing country? Maybe you could tell them that, hey, actually the guy that sings this song is the same dude that's in Lil Nas X's Old Town Road. And then maybe they'll open their mind a little more to the ridiculous fun of Achy Breaky Heart. And number five is All My Rowdy Friends Are Coming Over Tonight by Hank Williams Jr. Ready, make everything right, cause all my rowdy friends are coming over tonight. The song was released in 1984, and based on the title alone, I don't need to explain why it's great for a party. It's a song about your friends coming over and wanting to vibe. It's got a southern rock bluesy twist on the standard country sound that makes it just feel raucous and a little bit naughty and like you're in for a good time. It's also probably one of the most recognizable songs in country music because it was the theme of Monday Night Football from 1989 to 2011 and then it got benched for a while. Yeah, you can get drunk and start carrying on. But you can't compare the president to Hitler. In any case, the sing-along ability is very high, it feels like summer, and as the song says, it gets your motor started. And number four is Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. Man, I feel like a woman. There's a lot that's iconic about this song. There's the opening guitar lick, there's the music video, there's that opening line where she says, let's go girls, which has become a thing that people love to scream, whether it's one of the girls or one of the boys. <laughs> And then of course when the beat drops out from the song in the chorus and she just says, man, I feel like a woman. This song just works in group settings. I think it's rooted in confidence and humor and a little bit of sass in a way that makes it something that like dudes aren't threatened by in any way. But then obviously it's also a moment where girls can kind of be like, we own the dance floor, this is our vibe. What's really crazy about the song is it was the eighth single released from the Come On Over album, which is the best selling country album of all time. I mean, it sold 21 million copies and that album was was so stacked with hits that this was just the eighth single and ended up becoming one of her most iconic hits. And it was interesting putting this list together because this song and a few others made me realize there's really some magic that can happen when you just push right to the edge of annoying or stupid. But I think when it works, it can really pay off and turn a song into an irresistible jam. I think of the entrance into the chorus on Mambo number no. five. <laughs> A little bit of Monica I think of the pen click in Blank Space by Taylor Swift. I got a blank space, baby. I even I think of the little today. spoken interludes in that don't impress me much. Okay, so you're a rocket scientist. All those elements of the songs are sort of dumb on one level, but then they make the song so sticky in your mind on another level. Before we get into the top three, let's do a couple honorable mentions. First up is Sold by John Michael Montgomery. Not only is this song really fun and a line dancing classic, it's also a moment for that one friend of yours that loves showing that he knows every lyric and singing along to it to just have his moment in the spotlight. Let him be the auctioneer and sing along to all those words. I'd also throw Pickup Man by Joe Diffie onto that list. Just something women like about a pickup man. This is an especially good one if you're at an outdoor party and there is some kind of tailgate involved because obviously it's about a pickup truck and the pickup man that drives it. And also rest in peace to Joe Diffie. And also in the honorable mention list is Dixieland Delight by Alabama. My Dixieland Delight. 
think this ended up in the honorable mentions because I was overwhelmed by options for Alabama between like Song of the South and Dixieland Delight and High Cotton and even if you're going to play in Texas, you got to have a fiddle in the band. Like there's so many good, fun Alabama songs. And I find if I'm just having beers on the back porch with some of my friends, it is a really safe bet to just throw on like Alabama radio on Spotify. Just kind of keeps things moving, keeps people in a good mood. But now let's get into the top three. And number three is Chattahoochee by Alan Jackson. It gets harder than a hoochie Alan Jackson dropped this gem of a song in 1993, and just like I said with Achy Breaky Heart, I think it's been influential well into the modern era as well. This is a song about youth and coming of age and sitting by the river and partying with your friends and learning about life and love and, you know, sadly, settling for a grape snow cone. Or settle for a burger and a grape snow cone. But it's got that super twangy guitar line and that effervescence about it that just makes you want to get up and move. Also, if you have not seen the video for the song, it is just one of the greatest country videos of all time. I mean, Alan Jackson water skiing in his torn up jeans, and then all of the shots of him lip syncing in his life jacket. It's just stupid fun. This is the most essential song if you are having a lake weekend. You have to play this. Alan Jackson's another one of those artists that had so many options that could have gone on this list from Good Time to Little Bitty to Don't Rock the Jukebox. It's five o'clock somewhere. He's got a lot. And number two is Life is a Highway by Tom Cochran. Life is a highway. I this was originally released in 1991. It became a huge hit. It got to number six on the Hot 100. And it's this really upbeat look at the journey of life that despite all the things that you see along the way, you know, it's a highway that you're gonna ride all night long. And this song has been covered a lot in the country world by people like Chris Ledoux, the rodeo legend that covered this in 1998, but really most famously for the movie Cars by Rascal Flatts in 2005. And we all gotta be honest with ourselves here. Whatever you think of Rascal Flatts, whether you find them cheesy with their patterned shirts and their coiffed hair or whatever, their version of Life is a Highway is a total jam. Gary Laveau, Lavox, I never know how to say his name. His soaring vocal on the top of this just kind of takes the song over the top. And that first line of the chorus, it just hits. Life is a highway. Everyone wants to sing that as loud as they can when they're on a dance floor or just when they're at a party. Whatever it is, you just have to sing it. Life is a highway. This song holds this deep, deep nostalgic place in people's hearts. And maybe that's because they find it through the movie Cars when they're just a wee little tot. And then obviously the fact that it came out 30 years ago means it is truly this like multi-generational crowd pleaser. Guys, I swear this video has been putting me in the best mood. I'm just gonna listen to all these right now. <laughs> but the number one country classic that you gotta have on a good party playlist is Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. Hey, yo, Do you have a friend that loves showing off in karaoke? They love Friends in Low Places. Do you have a mom that thinks they don't make country music like they used to? She loves Friends in Low Places. Do you have a sunburnt uncle that's had one too many margaritas today? He definitely loves Friends in Low Places. I like that. There's just no better song for singing along to in a large group of people, yelling at the top of your lungs without shame and smiling to. And I think a lot of that is to do with the intro. Blame it all on my roots. I showed up in booze. This song starts off in this sort of silly, sad place where a guy is walking into a fancy event and feeling really out of place. But as soon as you get to the intro into the chorus where he says, you'll never hear me complain. But you'll never hear me complain. No, and the drums start kicking in and the music starts picking up and he just says, I got friends in low places. And he's feeling the gratitude of the good people around him. It is just the most cheerful song you could ever imagine. And the chorus has one of those moments that I was saying is a big risk with big payoff when it gets to the word Oasis and he goes, oh, Oasis, oh. It's one of those little dynamic moments that makes you have to sing along. Oasis, 
But really, this is a song about being with your friends, about enjoying each other, about no matter how you are coming to the bar that night, to the wedding that night, even if there's a tear in your beer, you've got friends around you, you've got good people around you, you've got community. And ultimately, I think that's what partying is all about. We're reminding each other of our common humanity and enjoying being with each other because something about being with each other matters. And part of what's been really hard in 2020 is that we can't do that, and that's really tough, but maybe virtually, I'm saying, we all got friends in the low places that we are in, and I hope we can all sing that together on a dance floor one day soon. In any case, that is my list. I'm gonna make a little Spotify playlist of those songs down below. I also always link my actual Spotify playlist where I just kind of have more current music that I'm listening to. That's always in the description down below. You can follow it if you want. And also at the end of this video, just a little shout out to Ward who runs Whiskey Jam. He just got his own radio show on Apple Music along with my other friend, Kelly Bannon. You know, my, some of my friends are killing the game right now, but just wanted to say shout out to y'all and um, Good luck with these shows. But let me know what songs you gotta have on a party playlist, and I will be back very soon with a lot more country music. Bye, y'all.